I'll be calling you a radical, the most intense winter in the history of the state of Utah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, winter, spring, it snows every day, all day. This is, we went from the Serengeti to the heart of the Mojave for the last 10 years to living in Northern Siberia. It's 23 degrees below normal today. It will be tomorrow. It will be the next day, the next day, the next day. They'll say 30% chance of snow on these websites. That means 100%. It snows every day, all day. We're going to flood like you know. Oh, fuck. We're going to have flooding like you never seen. You look at even the 30 stretch out. We can't even get 15, 10 degrees below normal. Spring football practice. So I went to Pro Day. And uh, they worked out four players, and I talked the incredible Josh Davis, who, should, I mean, that, that's an NFL superstar given a chance. Of course, Dead Williams put up 22 on the bar. Justin Malone, he looked good. Ty McPherson looked fantastic, the new Cooper Cup. But, and I told just remember, these NFL scouts are stupid. And if you don't think they're stupid, you just one word, Rashid Gee. So I want to talk a little bit about this, the drought, the drought, the drought. People confuse global warming with the drought. We've had this heat bubble over the western United States since 2011. It flooded radically here the winter of 2010, 2011. You know, just another Fukushima coincidence. The dead type was your feet, Fukushima coincidence. The fires over the western United States. I predicted all this. Kevin Blanche, here. And I'm the guy that named the great, the biggest drought in 1,200 years. The great north american western drought the western north american drought i named it i named it clear back in 2012 and i'll by spiral jetty videos i've documented perfect level i mean those videos are so unbelievable but of course i'm going to get no credit kevin blanche in 2011 when i was all over the media and then they found out how to use me all the so-called abstract i mean my websites my Tide pool videos were all over these people's sites and they were selling pills, bunkers, save yourself, the Mimi generation. They make tens of millions of dollars, never sent me a penny. Just used me. Just squashed me. Kevin Blanche, 2011. All new knowledge, all great knowledge will be persecuted. Always has been, Michelangelo. Always has been, Einstein. You know, they tried to twist his freaking. They did it to Malcolm X. They did it to everything. They completely twisted. Up is down, black is... Oh, Einstein didn't run a nuclear. He loved nuclear. No, he didn't. He hated nuclear. And a hell of a way to boil a water. Kevin Wack, 2011. Hell of a way to boil a planet. So, look. Global warming is radical and extreme. Been going on since they dropped the bombs. I mean, but it's so acute and so crazy what's happening now. I've been here my whole life. I've never seen anything like this. Ever. Ever. 20, 25 degrees. I mean, it's we get 10 degrees than normal. We we'll even get 15. But to get to go 20 degrees more normally for a day or two is really radical and rare. We're doing it for weeks at a time, months at a time. This has been this way November, December, January, February, all of March. It's going to go all the way in April. You know, so it won't end. So is the drought over that I predicted? Yeah. The Western drought, I think, is over. You know, uh, we appropriated all this money. These Johnny shows come lately, show up late to the game. They show up so late to the game. To, I'm documenting the race on Lakers is collapsing every day, all over. Videos all over, thousands. I mean, but ignore that. Then after the fact, this reaction, then they're going to, oh, legislators are going to throw money at it. We're going to put money. What's that going to do? Make lawyers rich? It's like the nuclear waste cycle. Oh, here's some more money for attorneys. Only Mother Nature can save it. And I've said it for years on the tide pool. On the, I've said it. Play back the tape, walking the coast of dying, doing the, the short tide pool work. Mother Nature's going to fight back. Oh, she's going to, and you're no match for her. I fight for her, she fights for me. So I wanted to say all you young NFL wannabes, you know, the, the NBA is just as bad. The NBA is corrupt as hell. It's a sports merchandise. The NFL scouts are stupid. Where did Tom Brady get drafted? Where did that back for the Chiefs who played so great get drafted? I mean, you go on and on and on and on. Where did Opeta, who played here, get drafted? Where did probably maybe the best player in the NFL, Rashidi? Oh, he didn't get drafted. What? What?
all the practice. Football players. They load it into a practice facility. I guess. Yeah. It snows every day, all day here. Every day. Record never happened. It's unheard of. So go team. I'm officially declaring the great western drought that I'm the guy that named it, predicted it. I'm it. You can deny my work all the fuck you want. I really don't care. Oh, it's over. It's over. Now, will we get another one to start? I don't know. But the Fukushima, the global warming over? Oh, hell <laughs> This is a byproduct. We've destroyed the planet. We've poisoned it so hard. Look at the tide pools. Look at the salmon. They were healthy until 2010. The great coincidence there. It's just all a coincidence. The great drought, the trees burning, the, tide, the salmon collapse. They were healthy. They were record numbers until 2011, until Fukushima. You know, that's an arguable fact. I've documented it. You, you, you can't just make it up. Great knowledge. First you hypothesize these full blown out melts are going to push an energy into the Pacific Ocean. They're going to break the chain. They're going to change everything forever. Einstein was right. Then you do the field work. <laughs> Look, I'm going on 12 years of field work while in critical condition. Then you defend your work against this tsunami of ignorance. The nuclear energy has so much money and so much wealth. You know, it's just like in France. So they're going to double, triple down. Come on, the nuclear energy is the French government. Germany's not going to back out. Austria's not going to back out. Denmark's not going to back out. Spain's not going to back out. Italy's not going to back out. And you think they are? Pff, you you don't know anything about them. They're so anti-nuclear energy, you don't even know. The United States, they can play propaganda all they want. You know, the facts are the facts. Fukushima changed the world. Just like Einstein said it would. Full-blown-out meltdowns. There's no byproduct for that? <laughs> you need your head examined. Stay in tune.